Indeed, Jay Kidwell, the big 5-0, and we have got a Friday night football worthy of the occasion, starting out with our game of the week, Peoria High School versus Rock Island. Let's get straight to the highlights. The Rocks fired up to take on the Lions, but they got off to a rough start. Already down 12-7, Peoria quarterback Orlando Hernandez finds Jason Bennett in the end zone. What a catch by Bennett. And if it worked for the touchdown, why not try it for the two-point conversion? Hernandez to Bennett again, and Bennett just making the Rocks look silly. 20-7, Peoria doesn't get much better for Rock Island. Fourth down, Jacob Ellis trying to make something happen. He is sacked, ball turned over on Dowds. Then a short time later, Hernandez pitches it to B.J. Harris, and he is running down the sidelines. He goes all the way, 54 yards. You're not going to catch him. Makes it 26-7, the two-point play, no good. But Peoria High School rolls over Rock Island. 56 to 15, 63 to 15, actually, the final score in that game. Staying with big six teams, Alleman and Quincy battling for the top spot in the big six. After a few empty possessions, Alleman strikes first. A 70 yard drive ends with a two yard touchdown run by David Lommel. Seven to nothing, Pioneers on top early. But the Blue Devils respond late in the first half. Brady Brock Miller takes the handoff. And he goes nine yards with it. Oh, he faked out the cameraman a little bit, but he gets into the end zone. The score all tied up at seven at the half. Third quarter, Allman punting. And this is not what you want to be doing on special teams. Looks like Quincy recovers for the touchdown. But actually, after a long review, the refs rule it a safety. Quincy not happy at all, but the Blue Devils defense stout all game long. They hold off all of them in late to win 9-7. to seven. Big win for Quincy. Roland, how about that big showdown down at the Soul Bowl? Back to you. Yes, Roland, we still got all the Iowa schools left to take a look at. And who are our fans of the week? We'll reveal the winners. Stay tuned. Friday Night Football on CBS4 continues right after this. The Bettendorf Bulldogs are the top-ranked team in Class 4A. Tonight, they put that ranking on the line against Clinton. Out come the Bulldogs, ready to defend their home turf on homecoming. And Bettendorf comes out firing. Kyle Cox dumps it to Justice O'Connor. O'Connor turns on the Jets, gets to the one-yard line. Cameraman down. It's okay. I've been there. I'm just glad you're okay, man. Next play, Cox hands it off to O'Connor, and that is Justice. One-yard touchdown run makes it 7 to nothing. Bet Norfs, but the Bulldogs' defense also showing up. Not fooled by the option at all. Josh Malik forces the fumble. Castle Wolf scoops it up. Bet North takes over in River King territory. And that means more Justice O'Connor. He might be small, but he knows how to run the football. Bouncing to the outside and outrunning the River Kings 20 yards to the end zone. 14 to nothing. Bulldogs in control. Clinton couldn't get anything going in the running game, so they went airborne. Real airborne. Check out this catch. Looks like it goes off half the Bettendorf team before Zach Popes comes down with it. A 46-yard grab, but in the end, this one all Bettendorf. They cruise to a 52-6 homecoming win. A couple miles down the road, Davenport North and PV going at it. 42 to nothing. Spartans at the beginning of the second quarter. I honestly don't even know how that is possible. Maybe because of that guy's conducting skills. But the Wildcats defense still playing hard, forcing the fumble on the option. PV recovers it. Okay, so you think the Spartans would learn their lesson about running the option? Nope. Another fumble. Devin Sperry and Caleb Schultz with a tackle for the loss for North. But it was a long night for the Wildcats. PV rolls 63 to 6. Roland, tell us about those North Scott Lancers. Elliot. Thank you, Roland. Don't go away. Fan favorites coming up next. It is that time of the night, time for our fan favorites. A lot of good fans to choose from, but really, this one was not a contest on Pops 50th. Check out Tyler Kidwell cheesing in front of the camera. Safe to say the Bentendorf student body approves. Kidwell, Kidwell. He and Bulldog volleyball player Catherine Baird, the Bentendorf homecoming king and queen, and he wears that crown like a natural. Roland, who you got? 